One more time for Greece by Bluegrass. I think after one of the, one of the first couple Winter Wondergrasses, um, like we came off stage after headlining one night, our manager said to us, he said, he's like, well, they want, they want us back to do the same set, you know, Saturday night next year. And I remember saying, um, so do they really like us? Or are we the only ones dumb enough to do this? <laughs> and, and, and the thing I really remember about it was the pause <laughs> that my manager took. He wasn't like, no, they really love us. He was like, mm, I don't know, guys. <laughs> but I think both are true. <laughs> fan base is really amazing and there's a sense there's also a sense that you're we're all in it together the, you're in the elements together and, and there's a certain like kinship within that I think I feel a close sort of kinship to those people those are my people those are green skies people <laughs> those are winter wondergrass people those are bonfire people the trajectory of green sky and winter wondergrass are pretty similar you know the growth and the best I could say is that it's just a, it's based upon a relationship of just believing in each other. It's like as much as I joke about this being a crazy idea, it's awesome. Um, and I believe in it. I believe in Scotty and the whole crew that puts it on as to curate like an event that's absolutely super cool. He certainly believed in Green Sky for since the last 10 or more years probably. Um, and wants us to be a part of it because it's almost like a family reunion or just that kind of vibe and and I'm honored and excited to continue, continually be a part of it. It's super cool.